Planners have a really critical role to play in the transition to net zero. They're responsible for setting policies that affect the way that we design and build new buildings, the transport infrastructure that we use, and the renewable energy projects that we develop in local areas. We saw with the recent heat wave the impact that had on overheating in our homes and affecting our infrastructure and this just demonstrates the role that planners have to play in ensuring that our buildings are adapted to the realities of climate change. Planners face a range of challenges when it comes to uh, the transition to net zero. Principally the national planning policy framework in England which is the framework that sets the, the context for all of the planning system across England. Um, it currently lacks ambition when it comes to net zero and isn't aligned to net zero requirements and this can limit the ability of planners to set more progressive policies in their local plans. I think the government needs to implement planning reforms that deliver st uh, in improved alignment with net zero within the national planning policy framework. This will have a really big effect on supporting planners to set more progressive and ambitious policies within their local plans. I think a future city involves people travelling more actively, using public transport and infrastructure is in implemented in a way that encourages that shift to, to different modes of transport rather than using a private car. Where private cars are used they'll be electric with electric vehicle charging infrastructure. Our buildings will be cooler in the summer and warmer in the winter. They'll be efficient using renewable heat sources and our electrical infrastructure will be supplied by renewable, renewable technologies that are installed throughout the city. I really like what London are doing with the London plan that they published in 2021. The plan includes really rigorous and progressive policies on climate and en energy. So for example, they require that all major developments are net zero carbon. They have implemented an ultra low emissions um, zone and they've set requirements for greening infrastructure as well as adapting buildings to climate change. My message to planners would be that you don't have to wait for the government to act. Many local authorities have already declared a climate emergency and this act alone provides weight and support to justify the inclusion of more progressive climate policies within local plans that can help accelerate the shift to net zero.